Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. New release here from Nemo Fila. I've been out of town and so I'm a little late to the game, but I'm glad to see that the numbers are pretty good and people still love Nemo Fila. Super good band. Got a little baby here. Don't know if it's a baby from one of the ladies in the band or it's an old photo of them. <laughs> let's give this a go and let's see what Beautiful Days is all about. Let's do this. <laughs> That's nice.
Oh man, lots of thoughts. Okay, so let's get into this, guys. First of all, I was a little bit surprised there. I thought we were going into an outro when I said, oh man, it's nice. You know, it was. It was so nice. The little, the little bit of fingerings on the guitar there. It wasn't an outro. It was an instrumental bridge, really. And then we went back into the track. I'm like, oh, I didn't see this coming. This is nice. This is nice. In the beginning of the track, we got babies and everything. And then they came out with a bang. And I know Nemophila can bang, but I didn't expect that to come. So this really surprised me on a few levels. Tamu's drums, <laughs> the whole track were just, they sounded so good, they were played so well. So I really just kept myself focused on like, man, what a cool groove. So <laughs> I, I don't want to jump on to the next thing without really making that, you know, really listen to this track to those drums. They're so, so very, very good. Love all the little babies. It's all about the kiddos, man. It's cool. It's our next generation of music listeners. This is a little bit more mainstream than a lot of Nemophila. A lot of times it's very easy for me at least. I don't know what other reactors do or, I don't know, who cares about reactors? What do people say? When it's more mainstream, it's kind of like, eh. But I, I don't think any eh on this. It's more mainstream for sure, but I really like the song a lot. So I think this can reach out to more masses. I hope it does. But it's it, it, that beautiful day as she sings it is a really, really, days, sorry. It really, really sticks in your head. It's a nice little hook. It's a cool, chill song. It's really well written. It's, of course, it's well performed. I was going to say it was a little long, but then we went in that wonderful finger picking, which totally surprised me. It wasn't finger picking, but all those nice sounds of fingers on the, on the uh, strings. And, but it really surprised me, and so I, I didn't lose interest. I kept going for a longer song than like radio play, you know. Anyhow, super excited about what Nemophila is doing. I obviously like this track a lot. Intrigued to hear what you Nemophila fans think, you know. A lot of growling in this track, you know. <laughs> I don't know, no growling, right? So do we miss the growling? We can have a bit of both, right? And so uh I give this two thumbs up. I thought this was I thought this was really really good. So uh let me know what you guys think. Thank you, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all on the next one. Hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, while you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks.